Hey Taurus, let's see what's coming up for you guys for the Cancer New Moon. What's coming up for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know for this Cancer New Moon? Star card. Excuse me. <clears throat> what's coming up for Taurus? Oh, okay. <laughs> well then, what's coming up for Taurus? Okay, at the bottom of the deck, wow. Taurus, um, dare I say you are moving towards commitment. I will say, I feel like you're walking away from something that just wasn't really fulfilling you. In fact, this, this Four of Cups is here twice. The Four of Cups there and then the Four of Cups over here. So very unfulfilling. Um, let's see. But you're moving towards a wish come true. <clears throat> and I'm saying that because the energy here is very passionate. Hold on. Sorry. <sighs> My allergies are going crazy. Okay. So we have a wish come true. We have a new beginning. And then we have very passionate communication. Um... You may, like I said, with the cards that were underneath the Hierophant, you may have had to walk away from something or this is something you walked away from and you're coming back around to. The Four of Cups could also represent a missed opportunity. So we'll see. Let's clarify the Hierophant first. For Taurus, clarify the Hierophant. We've got the Chariot, the Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> wow. And the Ace of Cups. Ah, <sighs> Taurus. Um, with the Hierophant, this is something that you see as stable. Now, this could be you, or it could be that what you're moving towards is something stable. Look at that. Oh, interesting. So this is what's interesting to me. You show up with a lot of burden, a lot of heaviness because of this new thing, because of this new offer the universe has extended to you. You may not be, if this is a person, because it certainly fucking feels like a person, you may not be in contact with them right now. And this combination here is Libra. Although this is the Taurus energy as well, which is you. So it could be Libra, Taurus, but it could also just be somebody that you're divorcing from or somebody you've been married to. Um, but it's like if you're not in contact with this person right now, it's creating a really heavy burden on you. With the chariot card, <clears throat> I feel like you are, you're very focused on this because it literally shows up twice, right? This Ace of Pentacles, this new, like you want to start a new life. You want to create something new or you want to start from scratch, one of the two. So if this is somebody you've already been in a relationship with for years, I feel like you want to start over. You see them, you know, as your perfect counterpart, somebody you want to marry. And so you, um, you want to move forward. You want to get serious. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's clarify the star. Because I want to mention something before I clarify the star, actually. The star um, indicates feminine energy, right? The healer, the, um, the 
somebody that's that's visible in the sky although it's called the star she's literally surrounded by the moon so as visible as the moon i put it that way somebody who maybe is very popular or well known or maybe they just have the type of energy that regardless of where they go they're noticed right um the downside to that is that if you see this person as a star on some level you're worrying that you won't be seen you're worrying that so many people can see this person will they be able to see you will they care about you so let's clarify that it might it might cause you to act out let's clear let's see clarify the star <clears throat> got the ten of pentacles the nine of wands and the knight of cups see i knew something like this was coming i knew i knew because the star card is a great card to get but it's also <clears throat> excuse me it also can create some insecurities so there you are you're showing up as the emperor the match oh look at this look at this taurus <sighs> you're showing up with a broken heart and you're very conscious of that you're very aware of that you're showing up in a very masculine energy or whoever the masculine is right is showing up with a broken heart um disillusioned grieving disappointed and in their ego because these two the five of swords with the three of swords create the eight of swords right not knowing what to do but in reality they do know what to do it's just it would require them stepping out of their pride <clears throat> it would require them stepping out of their ego it would require them taking a leap of faith <laughs> look at what's beneath that and they don't want to do that there's too much ego involved. There's too much self-sabotage involved because there's something about how they have to approach what they have to say. Maybe they have to apologize. Maybe they have to, and they're just like, Nope. So this energy of walking away and four of cups, they're just going to consider the star or the empress a missed opportunity. The one that got away. <clears throat> because although there is a lot of stability, although there is the feeling of family and having, you know, found the one, that also creates a lot of fear. I feel like the masculine energy has been hurt a lot. Not that the feminine energy hasn't, but this is the masculine holding on to that pain. That's the difference. They're still showing up with pain, probably from this connection and previous connections, maybe nine other connections, maybe three other connections. And so although they show up being very smooth and, and silky on the eyes and, and the, the way that they treat people, they're coming from this energy of being guarded and fearful and not opening up. So coming across somebody like this, which traditionally the star is represented fully naked. They're very vulnerable, transparent. That's, that's terrifying. Let's clarify this page of Wands, Knight of Wands because they're coming in. So it's almost like they're coming back in, but look at them. They're fully in armor. Clarify Knight of Wands. I will say I'm noting a difference. The Knight is coming in with full armor. The page is not. But this is about stepping out of our comfort zone. So he may come in, or maybe this is how he came in in the past, and to offer this, it's having to realize they have to step out of their comfort zone. So let's clarify the Knight of Wands first. Let's see. Clarify Knight of Wands. We got the Four of Wands. <laughs> there he is <laughs> the emperor let's see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oof oof 
Taurus, I'm getting a strong Libra vibe here. We had the Empress, the Justice card, and now the Queen of Swords. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. We also have Cancer energy on the table. Uh, Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. Um, Aquarius and Aries or Capricorn. <clears throat> so, the masculine shows up. <clears throat> in in full passion mode right this is one of the most passionate nights they're showing up empowered they're showing up you know maybe they have their own home they're fully established but they're in full armor even the emperor beneath this cloak look at him he's in full armor he is not opening up not even a crack So how does the feminine respond like this? The feminine responds with, no, thank you. The feminine might have been the one to walk away because you know how here. So the feminine is the one that walked away. The feminine energy. Saying, no, thank you. Because she's like, if you're going to be an armor, I'm going to put my guard up. Because she has a very clear vision. The clouds are beneath her head, right? So she can see very clearly that this emperor, this knight, is not in the energy. Even, even when he comes in with sweet words, he's still in full armor. And that's not what she's interested in. She doesn't want anybody in full armor. Especially this queen, she was very clear. She wants transparency because she's still going to be able to see through the armor. But she doesn't want to have to be wrenching the armor off. So let's see. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Clarify Ace of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Eight of Swords, Six of Cups, Death. Woof, child. And the Devil. Well, now we have three aces on the table. We've got the ace of pentacles, ace of cups, and ace of wands. You know what's interesting to me about this? Is that the only ace that's missing... <laughs> I knew it! I fucking knew it! I was gonna say the only ace missing is the one of truth. And there it is. <laughs> okay. 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 Such a short, small reading and so much energy. Um, the offer is here. It's a tangible thing. It's, it's a pinnacle. It's something you can touch. The emotions are here. The, the desire for forgiveness, for renewal, for leaving the past in the past. The desire is here. I think both people are very passionate about each other. And finally... The truth, the clarity, the unveiling of each other is here. Which puts the feminine out of the Queen of Swords energy and back into the Queen of Pentacles energy. Back into the generous, giving, nurturing energy. <coughs> so I think at some point this masculine figures it out. And I'm saying they figure it out because they're showing up with an actual offer, actual emotions, and the Hierophant is not wearing armor, not like the Emperor. So the masculine has realized that commitment can be, can be acquired by coming in, you know, with the right energy because the Hierophant is dressed in the same color as the Emperor. It's the color of power. It's the color of assertiveness of, you know, raw, passionate things. It's red. It's Aries energy. You could have Aries in your chart. So they're coming forth in this regalia of sacredness, of holding something sacred, holding something uh, with reverence. But at the same time, they're not wearing armor. Their emotions are going to be transparent. They're very determined. The chariot means they're very determined about that. And there's a lot of passion with a lot of truth coming through. So it's like finally it dawned on them. Oh, okay. Now 
Now that I know this, how do I go from the idea, the passion, the want into the doing? I remember I said the five and the three of swords, they were in this energy of, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But they also can't get this feminine off their mind. So what does that require? Transformation. And the thing about the devil, usually the devil represents uh, unhealthy attachments. In this case, I don't think it represents that. I think it represents such a strong desire because this is about our will. The devil is Capricorn energy. So it's our will being um, overwhelming something. So I think that the masculine is stepping into the energy of like, I want this and I will... I will make it happen. I'm going to pull it into existence. Let's clarify this page of wands. Because I feel like it's... um, (laughs) Okay. Wow. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean... (laughs) <laughs> it's not going to be easy even if the desire to overcome this is there. I feel like the male is coming in with a lot of passionate energy, a lot of like, I want to invest in this. I really desire this, this connection with this feminine. <clears throat> but with the seven of swords, there's still things that they're not sharing. And it could be, the reason I'm saying it's it's like not intentional is because I don't think that they mean to be deceptive because they're coming in with a lot of new energy. But whether they realize it or not, with the Seven of Swords, there's still things that they're not acknowledging. There's still things that they're not expressing. And I think it's coming from that energy of um, omission, right? They're almost like, well, you didn't ask me about that. And it could be that there's something embarrassing. There's something shameful that they don't want to share. They don't want to talk about it. But ultimately, they are stepping out of their comfort zone. They are <clears throat> taking off the, the armor. Because they want to close out this, this old cycle. They want to put let bygones be bygones. Because they know this is somebody that they want to marry. This is somebody they want to create a contract with. But it still comes with a lot of, like there's an anxiety here. Because this is so wanted. This is so desired. And I think it's on both parts. Because it shows up with both people present. I'm going to say that this connection has a lot of potential. There's a lot of beautiful energy here. But there is... You guys are going to have to step into the energy of trust. I think because in the past, how the masculine has been has created trust issues for the feminine. Wondering, is he going to step back into this energy of withholding? Or if she senses this, is is this masculine lying to me? Are they holding something back from me? And yet she feels the, the energy. So she's like, but I don't feel it. I don't feel this. So it's like creating a lot of anxiety. And on his part, I feel like he's like, well, she's walked away from me before. Am I, am I going to overstep some bounds that I didn't know or boundary? And then she's going to walk away again. So it does create this energy of mistrust and anxiety between the two. So if you guys really want success, I would advise fully stepping into trust, fully stepping into releasing the past and starting over. Let's see what the Moonology deck says. What's the final message for Taurus? Look at that. (laughs) Oh, Lord. Step out of your comfort zone and meditate and contemplate. So, (laughs) let's read the North Node, step out of your comfort zone first. There's a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you are headed in the right direction. If you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get going towards doing the thing that scares you within reason. 
This card is all about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you've asked about. It's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction to take action. So are you willing to follow through and lead the life you incarnated to live? If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, why did I wait so long? Attuned to the moon message is, I know I'm headed in the right direction. Additional meaning is, you're headed for something which feels like destiny. You need to face the fear and get over it. <laughs> Time to stop obsessing about someone or something. Stand on your own two feet and you've got this. And then we've got the new moon in Pisces energy, meditate and contemplate. This card speaks of dreams and romance, of soulmates and poetry. It suggests there's a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. There could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and that's what you're expecting. However, you're onto a good thing then wish hard. If you're onto a good thing, then wish hard because the words of your soul and your heart can help bring about the manifestation of your dreams. If all that sounds a little wet and watery, then that's Pisces for you. This is the last sign of the zodiac, and the new moon in Pisces card can suggest a last ditch chance to make your dreams come true. Attune to the moon messages, use your feelings to guide your way. Logic won't work right now. Additional meanings, face your fears. Oh my, that's two cards about facing your fears, Taurus. Face your fears, they may be holding you back. This situation is being healed. It's time to surrender to the divine. Chant Om Namo Narayani. I probably m fucked that up. Oh well. Avoid being deceptive. Avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. Okay. All right, so. Basically, the main message here is the new moon is going to show you the importance of stepping out of your comfort zone and facing your fears, Taurus. And it's it's like your own personal demon you're going to have to fight and battle. So that's it. That's what I've got for you. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any uh, personal readings you'd like to inquire about. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye.